And wellity, wellity, welcome folks, welcome back to Let's Play I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Now, last time we left off, we found ourselves finishing up Benny's story and starting Nimdok's one, where it turns out, yeah, Nimdok wasn't exactly the nicest person in his, um, you know, in his human life, as we have apparently not only performed many types of surgeries, turned in our colleagues to the police, and worked with Dr. Mengler of all people. Well, well, we can do our best to try and help ourselves. So, we're going to walk through this vent for this hidden door that we found. I smell burnt flesh. Oh. But this is obviously not a kitchen. Oh good. We found a furnace. These ovens are more monstrous than anything Am has ever constructed. I don't know, given he locked you in an oven, um... We got some things on the desk here. Got some paper records. Let's have those a read. According to these records, hundreds of corpses were incinerated here. Oh, not good. We got a watch. A gold watch. I am surprised its owner was able to keep it long enough to reach this place. Given the fact that it's in a furnace room, I don't imagine most people get back here. I don't... So let's take the watch. Yoink. And there's also something else on the table. Pliers! These pliers must be used for extracting gold fillings and teeth from the corpses. Uh, a bit of a big jump there, but uh, sadly, historically correct. I do not... Take the pliers then. Hopefully without a tooth connected to the end of them. Okay, and we also have another door. Use the door. Yay! Oh! Hello! You okay up there? What are you doing up there? This foolish man! He's tangled in barbed wire! Oh. wonder why he did that. Uh. I will summon one of the doctors! No, I'm better off here than under the knives of you butchers. That's not nice to say. How could you foolishly How get caught in the wires? How could you so foolishly be caught in the wires? I was trying to escape, but I was so weak. I fell and got caught. How exactly did you fall? Why I mean, yeah, I can imagine you fall from the fence, but how did you Why did it be barbed wire literally condition. covering the entire fence? How did you get that stuck there? timing was hardly of my own choosing. Unless you, like, climbed over the top I and pulled back. I was to be among the next batch of volunteers. Now, another question. How did this guard not shoot him? I mean, if you see a prisoner climbing the fence, at the very least you fire a warning shot. So what are you being given the privilege For to volunteer? For you being given the privilege to volunteer? Experimentation, they say. Extinction is more like it. Sure, oh. you of all people know the regime's plan for the lost tribe. Are you getting the allegory yet? Um, no. We'll call the guard. I will call the guard. Why? So the guard. There's nothing more I can do for you. There is not. You can at least help. That would give you the pleasure of seeing another one of us die, you cold-hearted bastard. Well, we can actually do that. If we use the ether on the man. Oh, give him a good sniff. That feels much better. And then use the pliers on him. Cut him free. Yoink, snap, snap. Thank you. Thank you. Listen. Okay, I this, heard this, this is important was a to remember here. When the doctor thought I was sleeping, waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. Make a note of that. That's very important. He is free, but he has lost consciousness. And we couldn't animate him coming off the fence, so yeah, about that. Anyway, let's have a look at his watch. There is an inscription on the watch, but it is written in Latin. And we do not know the Latin, but we might know someone who does. Let me talk to this guy. Again. I hope you are happy with the regime that you set up. Your science could have saved the world. Instead, it conquered it. 
What is the importance what of 1945? What is the importance of the year 1945? It seems to have some significance. Never forget the year 1945, Nimdok. That was when the truths about you and your unholy experiments came out. Oh, that ain't good. I seem to recall that you speak Latin. That's good for the plot. What is engraved on this watch? The engraving says time is truth. And since your time, time is, is out, oh, time I is truth. Watch. I am starting to recall that you do have cause. I wonder why, Nimdok, you put the man in prison. You want to make amends? Get me out of here. And the best way to do that is if we give him the pliers. We don't need them anymore. So give the pliers to the prisoner. Yeah. You should be able to escape with this. And the guard is paying no attention to the pliers fact we just gave a man pliers. pliers. Yes, I think this would make escape Pliers possible. for cutting the wires? I don't think that one pliers. good deed would make up for all those poor innocents you butchered. Well, goes a long way to helping. So that's that done. So now we can go back to the hospital. I think believe that regime should be beginning with a with a big capital N, followed by an A, a Z, and an I. If you catch my drift. Anyway, there's a few new things here now. If we talk to the patient. Oh, is that his eyeballs removed? What have you done to deserve removal of your eyes? Oh, that's not nice. Hey, it sounds in pain. Well, let's give him an ether. This should ease your suffering. So we just eat an ether size in. Oh, you can see things. A trinity of three beasts, one like us, one from the east, one from the steppes. They speak in numbers. I wonder if he's talking about Am and the other computers. What can that mean? Unseen by the beasts. Sleeping on the moon. Such a vision. So tiring. I have to arise. Something about a group on the moon. I wonder if that would come in handy. Anyway, we've got a jar full of eyes here. Incredible. A wire connects this patient's optic nerve to a jar containing two human eyes. Okay, so let's take those eyes. Yoinky yoink. Anyway, we can walk back into recovery now, because if you remember, there was a boy on the table who was about to have his spine cut out. He has now been moved. And sadly, he is, isn't looking in the best condition. Mm, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Good, I hope. I feel okay. I'm not hurt like the others here. Uh, do you know who do I am? You know who I am? You are Nimdok? You are more frightening in person than in legend. Oh. What do you know of me? The things you do are terrible. We small ones are your lab rats. Not helping Nimdok's case here. Are you saying that the doctors here have I think it's pretty blatant that's what he's saying there, Nimdok. No, not all the doctors. You and Dr. Mengele sent all the good doctors to the prison yard. Oh, it is getting worse by the second. So, I am a legend to you. Yes, but we have our own legends. Legends that owe nothing to your regime. What are those we legends will fail, are? no matter how many of us you cut apart. Well, certainly not trying to... Well, it was only not for lack of trying in that Why regard. Why do you say that the regime will fail? The golem will finish you. The golem, you it say? Not be mastered That's by a name I heard in a while. The golem will wake up, and when it sees with its own eyes the evil you have done, it will turn on you and save us. Well, we got happy from Get doing that, apparently. We will not rest until... 
So, uh, yeah. Just learn about the golem now. Don't need to give the kid any ether or anything, but we can walk back through the curtain. Emergency! The prisoners have seized the compound. Maybe we shouldn't have given that prisoner a pair of pliers. But now we're evacuating to a bunker. But before we do that, something tells us us walking around with a jar full of eyes ain't exactly, uh... What do you call it? It ain't gonna make us look any good to the prisoners in terms of, you know, letting us go. So let's take this box. And use the jar with the box to hide him. Smack it, smack. It is safely hidden in the box. If, I if that is safely hidden, then I His am, seem you know, a master preserved. of disguise. Almost alive. Okay, so now let's leave with our hidden eyeballs. So now the prisoners have escaped. And oh look, it's the one that we uh, let be the one who gave the pliers to. Let's give him a talk. And this is the one we need to select. We need to select remedying the, the problem. Let me go. With these materials, I may be able to remedy the atrocities I have committed. You can't fool me, Nimdok. You are an unredeemable butcher. But you are one of us. What do you I mean by that? What do you mean one of us? Why do you say that I am one of you? Why do you say that I am one of you? You denied your heritage and turned your own parents into the regime. Oh no, that ain't good. Lost Does that so, make your all seems to be we are a member of the Lost Tribe who is helping to destroy the Lost Tribe. Does that mean you will allow me to go? Please? Since you did help us to escape, we'll give you a head start. Then we'll hunt you down and kill you like the dog you are. Well, better than nothing, I, I guess. Must leave this place. What the hell's going on that wall? It seems I was once the wolf. Now. I am the quarry. It's like a screaming wall. Faces. Faces of people in torture. I wonder why that's there. Anyway, um. What's that? Hang on, what's that say? Mass grave? Oh no. I have not seen so many corpses since. Ugh! My memory is not what it used to be. Does he be Nimdok starting to remember what he. Was around this time. Anyway, let's go back inside the bunker. Or go inside the bunker in the first time, anyway. I know Ooh, this place. place. Some of my greatest accomplishments were made here. There's a bell jar. What well, that does? Have a look see. It's got a rat in there. More for change. Yep. The ability to reorganize. To change DNA into a cat. Did Am discover my work in this area? Is this how he was able to alter Benny and play other cruel tricks on the rest of us? Well, it's a good explanation, and there isn't actually one given in the actual book as to how Am can do this. It's just simply that he is so powerful that he can. A teletype. We got a message. There is a message. Ah, the teletype. The mobile phone in the 1940s. With lack of mobile or phoning capabilities. Use the, the message reads: Cease all work on Project Perfect Image. Confidential. The leader is dead. Having looked on the face of the future using the prototype device. This given who the leader is meant to be, given the whole regime and slash Nazi thing, that's telling me how that that uh, Hitler. Didn't, he didn't kill himself because, you know, the Russians were closing in on him. He killed himself because he looked into a mirror and saw the future? That's a bit weird. Um, let's go through this doorway then. That's a, that's a golem? Looks like, it like it's made out of leather jackets. See, so we've got a button. So I'll go back in there. Yeah, what's that? We got a vat. Vat of what? This vat contains a silvery liquid. Mercury, perhaps. I wonder what could be. Yeah, use a vat of mercury for. Let's use a switch. So let's have a look in the vat. What's there I now? I see a mirror. It was obscured by the light. 
So there's a mirror in there. Take it then. Take the vat. Yoink. So we've got a mirror now. So now we can use this mirror. The one that apparently killed our leader. Uh, hang on. Look at mirror. Oh my god. It is true. 1945. Turning my Jewish parents over to the Nazis for extermination. I have found a lost tribe. It is me. So it's finally come out. Nimdok was a Jewish doctor in the 1940s who turned his pa parents over to the Nazi regime. Such a strange combination of scientific well, that's definitely one and way of interpreting Cactus's character. He didn't really have one in the story. This has something to do with the golem, but the meaning is not clear. So we have to use the golem. So let's use our jar of eyeballs with the golem. Give us some eyes. Squish, squish. These eyes fit into the golem sockets perfectly. Okay, so let's uh, talk to Mr. Golem, see if we can get him to wake up. The man caught in the barbed wire said to waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. Okay. So, let's go, so... Time is truth. Uh, Golem, wake up. Golem, wake up. Um, truth is, it'll truth always be 1945 for me. for me. It shall always be 1945. And give me a kiss. Ooh, we now have a golem. Some very nice boots. Um, golem, you are to obey golem, all my orders. You are to obey all my orders. Let's talk to him again. Follow me. Golem. Hang on. Yes, I've already done that part. Come on. Follow me into the laboratory. Golem. Follow me into the laboratory. Nimdok, I was afraid I had lost you back there. Well, now we've got the golem. Good to see you and our new. Well, do we really want to be working with Mengele? Uh, someone tells me we do not want to. Just uh, talk to old Mengli. How did you escape the mob? How did you escape the mob? Did you forget that the compound has a secret escape route? Would have been useful uh, to use that. No matter. I see that you have revived the golem. What do you know about you know the golem? know about the golem? Of course! Part of the master plan is to strip the lost tribe of everything, even their folk. So he took their folklore, literally. I read the teletype. What is Project Perfect? He was a better understanding what exactly this mirror is. That was a secret project in the area of reflective surfaces. It bestows the clarity to see yourself with utter objectivity. So it shows you your true self, as it were. It worked too well. You mean that it worked well enough to drive the leader into committing suicide? The leader's death is a serious blow to us all. I imagine. But our golem is more than powerful enough to destroy the lost tribe. How exactly does one golem exactly, uh, what do you call it, kill an entire tribe I of people? Given that this is a standing for the Jewish therapy. people, how exactly does a the golem kill millions and millions of people? Ah, yes. well, I don't know how many Jews Luke there are in the world, or how many there were in 1945, but it's found to be at least a million. And yeah, I don't think a golem is well, but your six million taken in the Holocaust, so it's bound to be like you know, low millions and millions and millions. So let's actually see how one golem is going to be able to do all of that. Now I so, sorry, I talked over that, but basically, is it, he explained that so Am years. used this research in order to your keep everyone alive. We have all the time we need to resurrect the regime. Oh no, we are not doing a Helsing. We are not bringing Excuse back the Nazis. Me, doctor. We are not to be vampires. I need to get a breath of fresh air. But now it's time to show the doctor his true colors. Use the mirror on the doctor. Aha! Oh my god! No! So, that didn't do well for the doctor. 
Dr. Mengele is as pale as a ghost. Yeah, not exactly the uh, the best person he was. So, sir, uh, talk to Mr. Golem again. We won't get him to kill Dr. Mengele, but we will get him to follow us outside. Golem, follow me outside. Bye, Dr. Mengele. Nimdok. I knew that you would lead us to where the regime would resume its atrocities. We are here to make you pay for what you did to us. To pay in blood. So we've got three choices here. We can either send the golem to destroy the Lost Tribe, go back indoors, or give all control to the Lost Tribe, which is what we are going to do. We are going to finally atone for our crimes. Golem, I transfer control of you over to the Lost Tribe. So, you admit your crimes. Uh, but true. Does not release you from punishment. And I guess that's now uh, very well Golem will serve the purpose for which it was constructed. Golem, kill Nimdok. So I meant to Golem specifically to kill Nimdok. And we got the white score. And squish. So Nimdok just died. Well, died in the story. At least he ain't dead yet. You're not as alike as I thought you. Spark of humanity somewhere. Always that wretched little spark. You, you can you know, your past. This dog's torture is probably the worst of everybody else's. I mean, everybody else gets like, you know, a, a poking. Uh, like Benny has a cage where he gets poked, and Ellen has a sliding thing. Nim Ted has those lasers that are exactly hitting him. This dog just gets thrown in a bloody fire. Tortures too. That's just mean. Ah, you. You're the last player in my little game. I urge you, do not fail, as the others have failed. So, we only have one person left, and that's Ted. And we will be seeing Ted's story next time. And, oh boy, this is going to be a weird one. I think they've gone Nimdok? I don't know. So, we have finished Nimdok's story, and we are getting ready to go on to Ted's story. So I have been Grandmaster Scotte, this has been I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, and I thank you so very, very much for watching. Ad-e-os.